Sarah Nana. I come from Denmark and I live in Copenhagen. Uh, I work with uh, animation art as a visual artist where I sort of either do small films or I work with images. I stayed in fi Fish Factory in one month um, in February. So when I'm working with the animation, I build up these sets and characters. And I tend to work with uh, different emotions and interactions between people. I, I make the whole set and the characters in all variations of uh, grayscale. And then I play with um, putting in lights. So it gets uh, like a little bit of uh, light in them, and that makes the colors sort of get the uh, like scales of like a sort of a yellow and bluish and different kinds of varieties. Um, I also like to play with the elements like water, and sometimes I put in and stuff like that, but I kind of like that I, I work with real um, element materials and I came here to work with ice, but uh, it hasn't been so cold in this month where I stayed here. So coming to Iceland was actually my first time and I have been I have not been traveling around in Iceland, um, so I imagined it would be like great nature, which is definitely is. I imagined it would be a lot more ice than it is, like a, a lot colder. And uh, yeah, my expectations was to come to a place where I could get like uh, lots of inspirations from the nature and also from the people that would surround me during the th this month. And the project that I was going to or have been working on while I've been here is um, was this image or maybe actually like a live image where the um, characters would be surrounded by this I think like a stage that I would have built in ice if it was if it had been possible. Um, and but I've uh, not had the opportunity to work with that unfortunately. But I have worked with um, the characters and the image and what have been sort of inspired me with the, the characters that I built was actually when I was walking. Um, during walks during the weekends, uh, like the mountains and stuff. So it's sort of in, I integrated that a little bit in the characters. But um, the thing is, I, would, I wanted to do like um, this thing where you know you, you put on a lot of layers in order to protect yourself from like cold but also sort of emotion. So it's like some of the, the characters are also built up. Um, with using layers, <laughs> like um, that's more to do with the, the form of the actual character, yeah. But that's what I've been working on, and I'm, I've been making three characters that are almost done, and, and they will sort of be interacting in the photos that I will be doing. Yeah, so. I don't know if it's like obvious, but I like to sort of work with these different weird creatures combined with like people that like a real, that look like real people. So you can see this is sort of a three of characters I've done for this project. Um, yeah, and what I usually don't do is like work with these sort of layers and all of these textiles, like using layers, but these were sort of like a mountain sort of 
things, but also sort of putting in different sort of um, things. I, I kind of like that it looks a bit also like a girl with a, what you call, like if you get married, sort of a male or something, it's called. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, and different sort of uh, types of uh, clothing for a woman. And yeah, it's pretty much it. Like this is almost built a little bit about a person, I don't know, but I've seen pictures of. Um, I kind of wanted it to be like a person that looks strong, but also a little bit, a little bit wanting something more. Yeah, so. So these are the persons, but they will interact in the photos and have a real background. Well, in the future projects, I will pursue more to do like, um, to make it look as real as possible, but still work with um, different elements. I like to combine the, like the, the I like that it almost looked like a, black and white photos, but um, being implemented by these weird creatures. So I, I will pursue that. And I'm working on a project also back home where it's sort of an um, underwater figure that, um, that breathes underwater. So I'm using these tubes to do that. So it's sort of like, again, working with elements.